setzen wir Kagame and your government for actually having us all the time and bringing and being able to uh, entertain and uh, support us and partner with us in the hosting of the Africa Health Agenda International Conference, which is going to start today with this walking and allowing our delegates to be to feel safe. Uh, warm welcome to everyone to Kigali, Madam uh, Teneza, and we wish you um, a good stay here. We are excited to have you. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Africa Health Agenda International Conference 2023 in the beautiful city of Kigali. This is a global health conference started on Africa, by Africa, in Africa, for Africa in 2014. So it's been running since 2014 and this is the fifth edition. I am full of hope that the center will hold. My hope rests in the heart, ingenuity and resilience of the African people. It rests in the principle of Ubuntu. I am because you are. In the next three days, we will be covering many aspects um, of numerous health challenges that we face on the continent and beyond including the biggest global health threat in the 21st century, and that is climate change. Africa CDC, we are honored to co-host this very important event this year with AMREF and the government of Rwanda. Engaging non-state actors should not be taken as an option but looked as integral and key partners in health system or in health system strengthening. We have uh, today is uh, one that is key to public health, the question of data, uh, how you connect it, how you disseminate it, and more importantly, how you use it. Outbreaks, stopping an outbreak, the factor time is the most important one. This is one of the biggest lessons we learned, that solutions for our problems doesn't need to come from far. We have it in our hands. I'm hopeful that we're going to be investing in health systems that are resilient. So I, I think that investment in health, both for pandemics and for access to services, is one of my biggest hopes, but also it's a concern because of the, of the impact of the pandemic on our economies in Africa. We do not discriminate. We commit to breaking those hinges of inequality to reach even those in far away places, to dismantle flawed systems and fight tooth and nail any form of conflict or violence for health, strength, peace, resilience, a reality of justice. Our mantra is, I am because you are. We are here for our community to restore the homes for our women, children, and future. We are AMREF, and we are committed to being there for Mother Africa. The strategy of AMREF South Africa is aligned to the Africa Health Strategy. We don't do it as AMREF, we put it out there, then we reach out to you and we work together on it. Our new eight-year strategy, which is done so deliberately because we want to align with the Africa Health Strategy 2016-2030 and the SDG 2030 goals. Some of the key themes that we picked as we're developing this strategy is one, the urgency to attain universal coverage by 2030. We are falling back. We can't afford to fall back. We must remain steadfast in our commitment to the closure of the climate mitigation and adaptation gaps because funding them will be more cost effective than funding emergency responses. Despite the looming climate change crisis, only Africa's people can decide how to put human health at the center of the climate agenda.
is such a pleasure to address you on International Women's Day. I feel personally privileged to share this day with our honorees, and I echo my personal congratulations to them as well.